so we have learned that prodigy is going to be adding another type of membership to the game and this is going to be called an ultra membership so well let's talk about it and my thoughts on this topic so basically there's the first version of prodigy well more like the free version of prodigy so when you don't have to pay for membership at all which i'll talk about more later on in the video and how that is very doable um a membership that's like a me level up membership that you can just buy and that's like you know your basic level of membership and then there's ultimate membership which gives you ultimate member exclusive items right now being given out through the treasure track and now there's going to be a new level called Ultra Membership. We don't know a ton about this uh, new membership type yet, but we can assume that it's going to be, well, even higher priced than the Ultimate Membership, and that we, that like anybody who has this Ultra Membership would be receiving Ultra Members only items, probably delivered through the Treasure Track, but we do not know that. But based on the leaks that have been found by David Day, we know that, um, well, there's going to be specific items in game that are ultra member exclusive, and those include both pets and, uh, items in, like, your backpack that could be gear items, buddies, or mounts, whatever it may be, but, um, yeah, there's going to be ultra member exclusive items, and... Uh, yeah, this is, it's just a little confusing what Prodigy is going to be doing here, and I'll talk about it all in a bit, but, um, here is what the icon for this Ultra Membership looks like. It looks similar to the Ultimate Membership, except it looks more, like, crystally, almost. Um, you'll see that in a couple of the other images I show. Um, there's, a uh, pink and yellow... Uh, markings around it and I think that looks cool I think this is a, a really good looking icon for it. it looks great um but I'm just not sure how well this is going to go within uh at least the prodigy community before I talk more about that here are a couple of other images that um are going to be like the banners and things that we will be seeing for these ultra members only items so there's like the um bonus this this one says bonus and it's like a crystally um thing that wraps banner that wraps around the pet cards so this is for like whatever ultra member pets there may be and i'm assuming again that those would be delivered probably through the treasure track as things are being delivered by right now and there's also one specifically for what um, gear items, or not necessarily gear items, but items that will show up in your backpack. This is the banner and also the background. Uh, similar, like this is like similar, just different colorings of the uh, background and banner that you see when looking at um, your item inside of your backpack. So this is what you'll be seeing i guess for these ultra members exclusive items i think they look good um i like the colorings of them and now i guess let's get into a little mo bit more about how this might affect the uh prodigy game and community so a lot of people specifically uh non-members do believe that um membership is kind of a lot for prodigy um, and that they do a lot for, like, too much even for their memberships. And when you get higher up, even members think that the ultimate membership is too much. And that, um, Prodigy might not even should have the ultimate membership level anymore. Which, by the way, was added back in 2021. And now I... I know and uh, believe that this will continue to happen since these leaks were found. There has been much uh, debate about this and how it will like be even more drastic of a change, how Prodigy just wants more money, etc. There's, there's plenty to talk about 
with that kind of thing. I feel like this decision uh, is likely to, well, let's say, anger some members of the community who think that Prodigy is doing this only for the money and stuff like that. But, well, let me tell you what I think. I'm torn on this. Like, I, I really don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. I'm not totally against um, them adding another level of membership, but for one, I don't want it to be, well, too highly priced. I don't want that for anyone. It doesn't need to be too highly priced. Um, like, maybe uh, even a, a good situation here could be it's just like a rebranding of the Ultimate membership. We, we really don't know, but um, we're just going to have to wait and see for whenever this uh, comes out in-game. But um, this, in my opinion, is both uh, probably good and bad. Um, I, I'm not sure why they would necessarily be needing to add another level of membership. Um, I, I really just don't know. I'm... I'm again I'm torn on whether or not this is good or bad for Prodigy and the community. I don't think it's going to be very good for the community at least because there are already people complaining about ultimate membership and membership in total and uh, this is just probably going to make that worse unfortunately. But this is also the sort of thing that brings up even more uh, discussion on whether Prodigy is pay to win or not, and I'm going to share some of my thoughts on that. Personally, I'm going- I just say, I claim Prodigy is not pay to win. They are absolutely not pay to win, and let me go over some of the reasons that I have for that. I just- I hear so many people all the time trying to say that Prodigy is pay to win because they make things members only, ultimate members only, etc. Um, but there, and there's so many things that you can take into consideration for this, but they're not pay to win. Um, for instance, you can get the best armor in the game as a non-member. Think about it. The Titan power set is the best armor in the game and it can be gotten by non-members. Although it takes longer to get with non-members, um, it's still very much possible to obtain as a non-member. So you could get that full set. Um, and there are other non-member sets as well that you could get with, um, uh, yeah, without a membership, including the new Dragon Isle gear sets. Three of them, the Star Drakes, Mighty Worms, and Gloom Drakes sets, are all non-members, all for non-members, and they have extremely high bonuses between 330 and 340, so those are really high. And the wands, by the way, are 360 and 370 so those are actually the best wands in the game and the gloom drakes wand is the one that's for non-members that has 370 so you can get the best wand in the game as a non-member while it is really hard to receive that without that update that has 100 percent gear uh drop in the dragon isle which i heard is getting um putting getting added to more accounts by now um while it's still really hard and also you have to get to Rift 24, it's still definitely doable. Also, the Dragonling buddies in the Dragon Isle have um, really good uh, bonuses as well. Some of the best in the game for buddies. They each have an 80 of a certain bonus and they are obtainable by non-members. The mounts that non-members can receive in the treasure track are not bad at all either. So, also, one really, really major thing to point out is that the Magicoin update, while it is still in beta testing and hopefully will be out fairly soon, the Magicoin update has allowed non-members to rescue nearly every pet in the game right now and evolve them. So, if you have Magicoins and you have that update and enough Magicoins, you could rescue any pet in the game that is obtainable right now and able to be rescued right now and evolve them as well as a non-member so prodigy has given a huge benefit to non-members here and basically made it the opposite of pay to win it's not like you legitimately 
do not have to pay real money in order to get some of the best pets in the game. Another important thing to point out is that Prodigy is not often giving members the best items in game. Like, like I said, the uh, best gear in the game can be obtained by non-members. And, and many gear things in the game, and just things in the game in general, are that non-members can receive are just as good, if not better sometimes, than the things that members or ultimate members are receiving. Yes, the bonuses may be lower sometimes, and but they are definitely not terrible. They're, they're still really good, a lot of them, just like I was saying with the Dragon Isle sets that are for non-members. And as an obvious statement, the game can't be pay to win if the game is able to be beaten without buying a membership. For instance, the Puppet Master in the Academy is definitely able to be defeated without a membership. And the same thing will definitely be the case when we fight him again in the Dragon Isle and continue the game from there. So every part of the game is able to be beaten without a membership, so keep that in mind. These are just some really important points to bring up when talking about uh, Prodigy being pay to win, as I see just many people saying that it is, and they don't think about these things, and uh, the benefits that Prodigy is giving non-members, they are important, and I do understand, of course, where these people are coming from, but they're just not thinking about this sort of, like, what what's actually been going on, and not... Um, just not understanding some of, of what Prodigy is doing for non-members. So, while I do see where they're coming from, it's just not valid to say that Prodigy is pay to win. So, to wrap, kind of wrap this discussion up, um, there is going to be a new membership type. It seems to be that is going to be added to Prodigy sometime in the near future. I don't know when, but sometime in the near future, we will be seeing a new membership level in Prodigy that will likely be more expensive than the ultimate membership. Um, most likely, I will be getting this membership on my account because I do try to do that and get everything I possibly can in Prodigy. So I will be probably getting this new type of membership, but I understand totally if other people cannot. And um, really, it's just a matter of what Prodigy gives out with this uh, new membership. Because really, we don't know a lot at all. We don't know uh, much of the details yet. Like what these Ultra members will be receiving. How much uh, it will cost. And like just how beneficial having this new type of membership will be. We don't know. We don't know any of that. We'll find out more closer to when it is released. And when it is released. But really just keep all this in mind. Keep in mind that we don't know anything about it yet, so I would not make any assumptions about this new type of membership and um, how uh, like how good or bad it may be. I don't. I wouldn't make any like negative at least assumptions on this before you actually find out what it is all about and what you would be receiving with having this membership and what I mean like what's just going on in total so anyway keep all that in mind um i i really hope this is not a bad thing for prodigy i think it's going to be just maybe fine maybe not good or bad just fine but we will have to wait and see so what do you think about the likelihood of a new membership being added to prodigy that will maybe be above ultimate membership and just let me know all of your thoughts about it in general and what you think this might mean so let me know all of your thoughts in the comments 